Hi, I'm Melissa Muir, and I'm so excited to be here today because I get to introduce you to the latest machine from Fordham. It is the Fordham 1040. This is a brushless micromotor, but the thing that makes this really special is that it comes in with such a low speed and such high torque. The speed starts at only 500 RPM with full torque, and it has a nice smooth start, and you are at speed right away and the whole thing is just beautiful. Let's jump in, unbox this thing, and take a look. Now that we have everything out of the box, it's time to get it all hooked up. You also have an operation and maintenance manual. This is going to go over some of the different settings in here, as well as how to change and use different collets and doing any kind of troubleshooting. So be sure you look through this pretty thoroughly. To get started, we need to plug in the handpiece. We're going to align the notch with the top of the port, push it in, and screw the collar to secure the handpiece cord. Here on the back of the piece, I want to point out a couple of different things. We have where we're going to hook the foot control up. You also have where you can change and set the voltage. We also have the port here where we're going to be plugging in. And just to the side of this is where the fuse is housed. And there is actually an additional fuse in there should you blow that fuse. Now, similar to the way I hooked up the handpiece, we are going to do the foot pedal as well. Again, we find our notch that's going to go at the top, insert that into place, and we take and screw this little collar into place as well. And finally, we plug in our power cord. Now, let's turn it on. The front of our machine comes to life with different displays and lights. At the top left, we have our speed display. As I change the dial on the right, you're going to see that number increase or decrease. This number goes from 0.5 to 50, which is 500 to 50,000 RPM. I have the option to run this in the hand or foot mode indicated by the light just to the right of the toggle button. When in hand mode, you must press the run selector to activate the machine. I can dial in the desired speed, 500 RPM in this case, and press the run selector to make it run. While it is running, I can increase the speed and it will do so quite smoothly. And I can decrease the speed in the same manner by turning the dial to the left. The 1040 has two speed range choices, 5K and 50K. In the 5K mode, the machine will run from 500 to 5,000 RPM, while in the hand mode, both the 5K and run lights will be on. Once again, you can smoothly increase or decrease the speed using the speed dial on the right. To activate or deactivate the 5K mode, simply press and hold the run button until you see the 5K light either come on or off. To activate the foot pedal, press the hand foot selector. You are automatically in the 50K mode. The light will not display next to the run until you activate the machine with the foot pedal. As you press on the foot pedal, the speed will ramp up or down as you apply and remove pressure. Selecting a speed with the dial only marks the maximum speed. And again, you will ramp up to that speed as you press down on your foot pedal. It will stop at that desired speed when the pedal is fully depressed. To switch to 5K mode, simply press and hold the 5K 50K selector until the indicator light appears. Dial in the maximum speed desired and you are ready to go when applying the pressure to the foot pedal. This micromotor also features a forward and reverse option. All the speed settings and controls are available in the same way for both rotations. The handpiece is more than just a handpiece. It is the motor itself. This is a brushless machine, which means the handpiece is sealed with lubricated steel bearings, and that means less maintenance for you. The thing that makes this machine so special is that you can start it slow and it has full torque right from the get-go. Maximum torque is 11.3 ounces or eight Newton centimeters, which is about 160 watts output. But what does that mean? Well, it means that it can handle heavy jobs even at lower speeds. The micromotor comes with a 332nd inch collet installed, but it can also be swapped out for the included 1 8 inch collet. To remove an accessory, rotate the top of the handpiece counterclockwise. It'll take two clicks. Then remove and replace with your desired accessory. Rotate it in a clockwise motion to lock it back into place and you're ready to use it. It is important to keep an accessory or a blank mandrel in the collet at all times, especially when it is in the closed position to avoid damaging the inner collet. Even when storing an unused collet, you should always keep a blank mandrel or accessory in that collet. The system comes with all the tools needed to swap out the collets. Just follow the instructions in the manual. 
I keep the 1 8 inch collet installed and use a collet adapter so I can use both the 1 8 inch and 3 30 second accessories in my machine. When not in use, the handpiece should always be stored in a handpiece holder and not just on your bench top. The machine comes with the rubber cradle as well as an onboard handpiece holder that can be positioned in multiple directions as well as multiple places on the machine itself. There are four location options and it comes with a second handpiece holder for convenience. Also included are four plugs if you choose to not use an onboard storage slot. To use the plugs, simply slide them in and press down to lock them into place. The top of the machine features an accessory tray holder where you can store the rubber cradle or other accessories. As always, if you have any questions, just send us an email or drop us a comment down in the section below.